And Global Affairs Analyst Ayato Adewale joins me now to discuss this. Good to have you join us this hour. Now, months after the killing of George Floyd, which sparked global protests, we continue to witness police brutality against African Americans. Now, many people had hoped for some level of reforms by now. So what exactly is going on? Uh, thank you for having me. I remember a couple of uh, weeks ago, I was I was on this particular TV station to discuss about the George Floyd um, incident. And here we are again, another incident, another black man, Jacob Blake. Uh, th there is no way you can justify being shot seven times, especially when you have about two to three officers right behind you that could easily have um, de-escalated the situation. But this is the world we're living in right now. This is 2020. And um, the question we have to ask ourselves is, how many black men have to die? How many black men have to get shot before um, the politicians, the people in the parliament can decide to make uh, decisions and implementations in such a way that it reflects that uh, whatever they're saying, whatever promises they're making when it comes to Black Lives Matter, that they actually working in that direction. It is not just enough to make another slogan. It is not just enough to make another hashtag. We are tired of that. We are tired of turning our men and our women into hashtags and slogans. It is time for so, politicians and I people in the a, parliament to start making if, decisions if I'm in that direction. Like you rightly said, um, we, understand, we can imagine how tired African Americans are at this moment. But what is the path to lasting change? The path to lasting change, like I discussed, the first thing first, we need to start holding our uh, our, poli uh, our politicians, our police officers, we need to start holding them accountable. Because when the police first understand that there is a union in place that can protect them regardless of whatever they do, regardless of how they shoot a black man, they know that there's no consequences for those actions, they're always going to keep getting away with it until the first thing is done, which is holding these people accountable, making them understand that your first rule is to protect and to serve and not to kill. Then, until then, we're there going to be a lasting change. But right now, we're not seeing that right now. It's like every day, every week, another black man is going to get shot. Another black woman is going to get killed. People mm -hmm. are going to protest. Things are going to get burned down. And then we go back to it again, start all over. That is the current situation, right. and it is tiring. We, ho we hope that um, this is the last we hear of it. But Global Affairs Analyst Ayanto Diwali, thanks for talking to us. Absolutely. Thank you.